Jaw and scoliosis. What's the scoliosis got to do with the jaw? Thank you for watching this episode of Jokers Physiotherapy. Today, I wanted to uh, share with you some link or contribution from the scoliosis to the jaw and the jaw dysfunction, all the pain, all the symptoms like clicking and popping and possibly uh, the, the, the bite being out because the jaw's dysfunctioning. So, what is scoliosis? Scoliosis is a form of uh, curvature of the spine, not back and front, but side to side. It often develops over the growing years, uh, where uh, as, the, as you grow bigger, um, your ribs especially, they may twist uh, uh, or they don't grow in the straight sort of manner so one side may be sort of curved and twisted and that can create certain level of uh, curvature sideways and also it may be habitual or maybe genetic uh, i don't know exactly into how much of it is to do with the genetics and i should look that up or you could look that up but the fact is that when um, over the years as you grow wiser and as you grow older into adulthood and your profession is to sit for a long time at the desk uh, doing desk work it could it could mean that you're possibly sitting with a little bit of a curvature and therefore your head adjusts the neck gets twisted and people with scoliosis in the thoracics especially tend to have um, neck problem or tightness in the shoulders but along with it because guess what 15% of your jaw is made up of the skull called the temporal bone it, if your neck is not in a good position or one side of the neck is tighter it does start to affect your jaw over the t over time um, especially if your sternocleidomastoid muscle is tight on one side which can happen with a scoliosis to try to keep your head level because you've got the head and also uh, a vestibular system in your head um, which means your neck and the jaw is constantly in a crooked position and you can imagine you're eating and chewing in a poor posture and also with a little bit of a twist over time it, that will start to make some stress to one side of the jaw or both sides of the jaw and it can create uh, some dysfunction in your jaw joint which may represent as pain clicks pops or just simply tightness in your jaw joint clenching all of these things can contribute so in order to treat the jaw if the scoliosis was a contributing factor and it's the major one that we assume then it's worth paying a visit to the physiotherapist who can assess uh, with a, especially the ones with a special interest in treating the jaw problem uh, but also scoliosis to try and rehab and see if uh, scoliosis changing the scoliosis whether it's mild especially it's mild uh, if it's a severe scoliosis, obviously that's going to affect other places more than the jaw, uh, such as low back or the actual thoracic spine. But it does. It, if it's mild, it may affect, because it can keep going without treatment, can affect the jaw eventually. So strengthening the abdominals, strengthening your gluteal, strengthening the upper back, like rotator cuffs, the neck uh, muscles. Uh, improving the posture in general during desk work time, uh, having a better ergonomics, better breathing patterns, which starts with your tongue position, by the way. Uh, solutions can be many, uh, but obviously paying a visit to your, uh, your uh, physiotherapist or uh, a physiotherapist with a special interest in treating these conditions like jaw and scoliosis, migraines, will definitely help uh, set the right tone, right path, formulate the right treatment programs just for you so you can get rid of any symptoms that are, that are affecting your life. Okay.
Thank you for watching this episode of Joker's Physiotherapy. If you like more information, please subscribe so um, you'll be notified of further uh, videos or please visit my uh, channel to see if uh, some of them uh, may be helpful for your uh, uh, for yourself or for your uh, friends or family and please give us a thumbs up if you like these videos thank you for watching and happy rehab cheers <laughs>